Hey, I'm Julian and I will be guiding you through the tutorial today. I'm going to show you all the basics of Wix, how to use the drag and drop editor, how to change images and how to add new pages to your website. And at the end, we will connect our own domain and publish our website. And no matter what type of website you want to create, whether it's a personal website or a business website, Wix will have thousands of different templates for you and I will show you how to get them for free. Speaking of free, one really important thing before we start, you will find the link to Wix down in the description of this video. It's a partner link and it will ensure that you will get your free trial and at the same time you're supporting me and my channel. So thank you a lot for that. And yeah, I would say let's jump right in and see how Wix works. So let's start by clicking on the link. It will bring you to this page and here you can sign up via your email. Once you have done that, you will land on this page and this is the new AI of Wix and you can start chatting with it and it will help you to set up your site. It will add all the functionalities you need. I have an extra video for this because this takes up to five minutes. Feel free to go ahead and talk to the AI, but I will go ahead and set up my website without the chat. And now Wix is asking you what type of website do you want to create? And I want a website for my business as a YouTuber. And then I click continue. And now Wix is preparing the dashboard for us. And then you land in the dashboard of Wix. This is the back end of your site where you as an admin can manage your site. So you have your marketing here, you have your analytics, your inbox. So when visitors contact you, you can answer their messages. So you can do quite a lot here. So we will come back to this later. But for now, we want to focus on this small to-do list. Wix will guide us through the process of setting up our site. And I do like to start directly with the front end and show you the design of the website because this is the most interesting part. So let's click on design site and then we can either design our site with the Wix AI or we can choose one of the templates. And I do like the template options a lot because the templates look quite professional. You have a lot of different templates. So you have templates for businesses, health and wellness, beauty and hair, or if you want to build an online store, you will find templates for fashion, arts and crafts, beauty and wellness. Or if you're creative and you're a photographer, you will find some templates for photography, design, music. And I do like the portfolio options a lot because I'm a YouTuber and I do want to showcase my work. So I like this template a lot. So I can click on view and by choosing your templates, it's really important that it speaks to you because you don't want to change everything about it later on. And if you're happy with that, for example, I do like this one a lot. If you like it, just click on edit site. And now Wix will open up the editor for us. And we are greeted with a pop-up and the AI of Wix is helping us to create our content. So here we can type in a prompt so I just gave it the prompt, I'm Julian Weber, a YouTuber making tutorials about how to create a website or an online shop. And I want to help people to launch their first online business. So this is my mission. And the more text you type in here, the better the Wix AI will understand what you're going to do. And the content which will be generated here will be even better. So let's click on generate site text. So now Wix is creating the AI text for us. So we will do this now step by step. Let's zoom in and see how we can edit the homepage. So this is the homepage and it's quite nice because the text is already there. Hey, I'm Julian Weber, YouTuber, web creator and online business mentor. So there's not really much to change about that. But if you want to, you can just jump in and click on edit text. And for example, if you don't want your last name there, you can just delete it or you can just type it in. You can change the font, you can make it bold or italic or underline it or change the color. So this is pretty much like you would do in Word or PowerPoint. But just to show you this once, you have all the text settings here. And the nice part about Wix, it's a drag and drop editor. So you can really drag everything around and place it anywhere you like. But don't cross over these borders here. Like so this border on the left or this border, because on some devices such as mobile, this won't be visible anymore. So make sure that your content is always within those borders. And let's change the image. I can just click on change background image. And then I can either have the AI create an image for me or I can also put in a video, but let's click on image. And here's quite nice because Wix has its own free stock photos. So you can just search for anything and it will pop up some new photos and you can use those. Just double click on it and it will add the image to your site. But in this case, I want to upload my own media. So this is connected to pretty much every picture service out there, but I can just also upload it from my computer. 
So now my picture is uploading, so I can click on change picture. You can also crop it or edit it, but I did that before, so I can just click change background. And now Wix put in my picture here. And I'm quite happy already with the top of the page. My picture is there, my name is here. We have a menu bar, we will come to that in a second. And we have the text customized already. So let's scroll down. And now we would just jump in to the next section and then edit this section. Here you would do the same. Here's the headline, you can change that. The paragraph is already created for us. So it literally just took my text that which I typed in and then <laughs> added some more. Just go ahead and make it your own and really tell your story here. But for now, I think this paragraph is good and we want to see how we can add a new section. So if we're down here, we can click on add section and then it will open up the menu on the left. And here we can add a new section and Wix gives you a lot of templates. So you can have a team section if you want to introduce your team. You can have a contact section if people should contact you. I will just go back to the welcome section and choose this one because I want to add another section about my social media following. So I can say follow me on social media. Then I just delete the button with a backspace and I also delete this one with a backspace. And now I want to add a new element to my section. Therefore, I click on add elements. And here I have all the elements which I can add text, images, buttons, boxes, galleries of pictures, menus, contact forms. But I do want my social media icons so I can just select those and drag and drop them in. And now I just want to make them bigger so I can click on layout and increase the icon size a little bit and also add some spacing to it. And now I can just put it in the middle and then I need to set my social links. So for example, I don't have TikTok, then I can just delete it here. And here I would now just link my Instagram account, just put in your URL for your Instagram or for your YouTube channel, you can just put in your URL, click done. So you would link them up now and then click done. And when people click on it, it will directly bring them to YouTube, which is pretty nice. I don't like that it's also in the same gray as this part here. So I will just click on change background and then on color. And here I have the color from the template, the green. And I do like this a little bit better. And then I just need to change the color of the headline, make it white. And now this looks already pretty good. Let's zoom out. Yeah, we have our top part. We have the about me section and we can make this a little bit smaller. And here we have the follow me on social media. And of course you can always move the section. So here you can just move it down a little bit or move it up. And if you don't like the about me section here, you can also just delete the section. And after that, I want to showcase my tutorials. This is, <laughs> this is definitely not me. Um, so let's put in my own video. And here I can just upload my own video or put in the URL of my YouTube video and click add video. And then I will just close this window and now I can click on settings and on video and then I can select the video here and it will automatically put in the video. This looks a little bit weird now because it stretches the video over the entire site. So I can click on layout and make it compact. And now I just put in my tutorial video here, which I do like a lot. It looks pretty cool. And I can just move this up a little bit and see where the section ends. So this is also good. And the next section with the photos, I don't really like that. I don't have that many photos of me, so I can just delete it. Click here on the three dots and just click on delete. And now the last part is the footer of the website. And the characteristic of the footer is that it's shown on every part of the website. And here, the template has the contact form in it. And I don't really like that because then you have a contact form on every page of your website and it takes up quite some space. So I will just delete this part here and also delete the background image and then just move the text from the footer a little bit up. And here, this is the text of the footer here. You can just jump in and make this disappear and just say, okay, now we have 2024. And the footer is also the part where you would upload your terms and conditions and your privacy policy. I'm no lawyer, so I can't really consult you on that, but just Google privacy policy, and then you can generate a text and put it on the site on your website. And then you just select the text and you can link to a page on your website, which is called then privacy policy. 
Yeah, but I don't want to go too deep into that because I'm not a lawyer. But just to make sure that you have a footer, this would be now the footer and just link up your privacy policy and your terms and condition if you're selling something. So, but we lost our contact form and we want to have a new one. So we can click on add section, then click on contact. And now we want to have a contact section at the bottom. And I do like this one with the contact form here a lot. So I can just drag it in. And now Wix is adding forms and payments to our side. So it's just adding new functionality. And here we have the contact form. And now you would just click in, put in your address, your phone number, your email, and people can contact you now here in the form. And you can also just click on add new field and then ask for the birthday, ask for the homepage URL or something. But I do like it, first name, last name, email, and a message. I think that's sufficient. And down here we have the map, which I think it's pretty cool that it comes with it in Wix directly and we can just change the design really quick because I like this design better and we can make it a little bit bigger so just drag it down and now it's a little bit bigger and you can just click on manage locations for example if we're not in San Francisco we are in New York click on enter and then it will directly put the pin on Manhattan so please just put in the, your real office address here and it will automatically find you on Google Maps and uh, let's zoom out because I think that is already pretty cool. We have our header, we have a small about me section, we have a follow me on social media, we have a showcase of our tutorials and if people want to work with us, they can contact us and they can find our office space in the city if they want to come by. That's pretty cool already. But of course, this is just the home page, and a proper website consists of more than just one page. Therefore, we can click on page and menu. And here you can just add a menu item and click on new page and it will prompt you with different templates, which is pretty cool. So you can have a contact page, but we already have this on our homepage. We can add an about me page where we, for example, showcase ourselves or our team and our mission. And you can just click on add page. Wix will automatically add this to your menu and we can say about me click done. On this page, you would do the same what we did before. You will upload your picture and link up your social media icons and tell your story in depth and maybe put in more sections to add yeah, your clients you work with or your team members and showcase your entire work here. So this is pretty cool. And just to make sure that Google will also find this page, we just have to click here on page. Then on the three dots and here we can go to the settings of the page. So you can change the name you can also change the layout. If this should be a landing page, you can say, okay, I don't need a header or a footer on this page. You can also ask for permission by having a password in front of it. But the most important part are the SEO basics because this page should be found by Google. So here you have your URL slug, which is the short form for your page. I do like the about me, make sure that it's not too long. And then here, this is the most important part, the title tag, because here we need to put in the keywords where people should find this page. To be honest, for an about me page, it's not that important, but if this would be a service page where you, for example, offer Google ads or Facebook ads services, then you want to put in Google ads agency in New York, because when people search for that, they will find it. And same goes with the meta description. Here you have to describe what do they will find on your page. So if it's a service page, such as for Google Ads, you would describe, hey, we take care of your Google Ads campaign, we find you the right keywords, we set up your account, etc., etc. And just to make sure that this is filled out because Google will display your page as such. So you have your title, you have your description, and you have your link and down there you will find the meta description. You know that from Google, so I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that. And just Google keyword optimization or SEO and then you will find out a little bit more how to set this up and do it for every page where you want to sell something. And one last thing, if you want to share this page on Facebook or on, on WhatsApp, it's important that you have a social media image. So you know that when someone sends you a link on WhatsApp, you also have a small preview picture and this is the one. So for example, for the About Me page, I could just upload an image of myself and then just click Save and it will be added to the page. So let's go back to the home page. Now we have learned how to add images, how to change the paragraphs and text and headlines. The last thing which we need to do is just to link this button. So we can click on link and click on page and we want to link this to our new About Me page. 
click done and maybe change the text to read my full story so people can click on it and will be directly linked to your new about me page and now we just have to preview the page and see if we like it if everything works so when I click on read my full story, it should take me to the about me page. Perfect. If I click on Julian Weber, it should take me back to the home page. So this also works. And now we just have to make sure that it also looks good on mobile. So click back to the editor. And here we can click on switch to mobile view. And now we can see what Wix did with the mobile version of our page. So I do like that a lot. Maybe put some space in here, but this is fine. The about me part is also fine. <laughs> and yeah, the social media icons are a little bit messed up. So we can just move them a little bit or decrease the size. Yeah, that's perfect. So just make sure everything looks nice and smooth on the mobile version. But I think that's already really, really good for our website. And so the mobile version is also fine. Just make sure that you do it for every page. So we would now do this for the about page also. And yeah, let's go back. That was pretty easy. And before we now publish the site, I want to show you one last thing. Here you have the app market of Wix. And this is the place where you can add more functionality to your website. This works pretty much the same as it would do on your phone. You can just add an app and this will enhance the functionality of your website. For example, you could add Wix chat and then you will have a chat window on your website and your visitor could contact you via chat. You can also have Wix groups for monetization of an online community or for example, online store. This is a really important app. So Wix stores is the app to add e-commerce functionality to your website or you have Wix bookings, for example. So people can book your services directly via your website and pay for it and also see your calendar and book the appointment with you. So this is pretty cool for therapists uh, and people who want to sell stuff online. Just to make sure that you've seen it, the Wix app market is the way to go to extend the functionality of your site. And I do have a lot more tutorials coming on Wix stores, on Wix bookings, and you will find all those on my channel. But I'm happy with this because it's just a basic website showcasing my work and people can contact me. So I'm really happy with that. And now is the time to publish the site and Wix will give you a dummy domain. So we can click on view site. And so the page is under the link Julian's homepage dot Wix site dot com my site minus 30. <laughs> Here you see how many demos I already did. And now, of course, we can use this. This is for free on the free plan, but I'm pretty sure if you are a professional, you want your own domain. So we can go back here and click on connect your own domain. And here we would just type in, for example, Julian Weber. I know mine is taken, so I will go with one, two, three, just for the example and see if this is still available. And with Wix, you can get .com, .shop, .blog, .design domains. So this is pretty amazing that they have a lot of domain endings, but I would recommend you just getting a .com domain. So check if your domain wish is free and then you can click on get it. And now Wix prompts you to actually pay for a premium plan. So we can click continue and see all the options of Wix. And it's quite nice because they greet us with a 50% discount <laughs> and we have also a 40 day money back guarantee. And with all plans, you will get a custom domain for free for one year. There won't be any Wix branding on your site, of course, and you have 24 seven customer care, which is also quite nice. If you want to have a basic website, I can recommend you the light plan because you already get two collaborators, two GB of storage and a free domain, which is quite sufficient for a basic website. But if you know already that you want to sell something, you of course want to accept payments and therefore you need basic e-commerce functionality and therefore you can choose the core plan which is the exactly the same price right now with the 50% offer which is quite nice and from there you can always upgrade to business or business elite so I would recommend you starting either with a light plan or the core plan then you select it type in your credit card information and then Wix will automatically give you all the premium features such as the Wix store and accepting payment functionality and you will get your free domain this will set up in 12 to 24 hours and then your site will be ready under your own domain and you can get rid of this dummy domain. Yeah, this is how you create a website with Wix. I hope you liked the tutorial. If so, please go ahead and start your Wix journey with a free trial link down in the description of this video. And if you're down there, give it a thumbs up uh, so other people know that the tutorial is a good one. Yeah, thank you for listening and we see us in the next video. Goodbye.